sport's really taken off in the last 30 years or so. You know, it was only 1984 that the marathon was even introduced to the Olympics, even though it had been there since, you know, for men since the first Olympics. You know, it took 80 years for the women to get that event. And I think they thought, you know, women couldn't play sport. And then when they realised women could play sport, it was like, oh, but only if they're less womanly, you know. So I was like, well, if they don't get their period, that's probably a good thing. They're being more like men. Um, when really our hormones, you know, estrogen is really beneficial for muscle, you know, muscle growth, recovery, encourages glucose uptake into our, um, you know, type 1 muscle fibers. So the hormones themselves are actually really beneficial for performance. And then um, if we look at the underlying cause for why women are losing their period, it's, you know, because they're not fueling properly, they're not recovering. So like you say, it's a monthly report card that, you know, I'm nourishing my body well enough. Um, that it's saying I'd be healthy enough to fall pregnant. So, yeah, if anyone's listening, if you lose your period for more than three months, that's definitely a um, sign that you need to go and have it checked out.